Everyone, you are welcome to solve this nice algebra problem, which is 7 to power x plus 7 to power 2x plus 7 to power 3x. This is equal to 14. What is the value of x? Let's provide a solution from here. Now we have 7 to power x plus 7 to power 2x plus 7 to power 3x. This is equal to 14. The next step from here, we can let 7 to power x be equal to m. So let's substitute this. So we have m plus m squared plus m to power 3. This is equal to 14. The next step is to take 14 on the left hand side. So that here we have m plus m to power 2 plus m to power 3, subtract 14, this is equal to 0. So this implies from here, we have m plus m to power 2, then plus m to power 3, subtract 14. Now, 14 can be expressed as 2 plus, this can be expressed 2 plus 4, then plus, 8. This is equal to 0. The next step is that we have m plus m squared plus m to power 3 subtract 2 from here then minus times plus 4 this is minus 4 minus times plus 8 this is minus 8 this is equal to 0. So so the next step is that we have m minus 2, then plus m to the power 2, subtract 4, we can express 4 as 2 to the power 2, then we have plus m to the power 3, subtract 8, we can express 8 as 2 to the power 3, this is equal to 0. We have three parts from here, we have, this is the first part, the second part here, this is the difference of two perfect squares expressed as a squared minus b squared. The third part here, this is the difference of two cubes expressed as a to the power 3 minus b to the power 3. So this implies that here we have a squared minus b squared. This is the same thing as a plus b, a minus b. So therefore, we have that m squared minus 2 squared, this can be expressed as m plus 2, m minus 2. Let's call this equation 1. Then we have that a to power 3, subtract b to power 3, this is the same thing as a minus b, a squared plus a times b, then plus b squared. Now applying, now applying this identity, then we have that m to the power 3 minus 2 to the power 3. This can be expressed as m minus 2. Here we have m squared plus 2m, then plus, this is 2 squared, which is equal to 4. Let's call this equation 2. Now, something to note here, something to note here. We have that x is a member of real numbers. x is a member of real numbers. Now, the next step from here, let's combine equation 1 and 2 here. So first we have m minus 2 plus m plus 2. Here we have m plus 2. Then we have m minus 2. Then plus, here we have m minus 2, then m squared plus 2m plus 4, close the brackets here, this is equal to 0. Now, m minus 2, m minus 2, m minus 2 is common here, so we can factor out m minus 2. So that in the parentheses, we'll have 1 plus m plus 2, 
here we have m plus 2 then plus here we have m squared plus 2m plus 4 close the bracket here this is equal to 0 this is equal to 0 so we have two parts here we have that m minus 2 this is equal to 0 and we have the second part here which is m squared so you can write this as m squared then plus now we have m plus 2m so this is 3m then plus this is 1 plus 2 3 3 plus 4 this is 7 this is equal to 0 from the first part here we have that m1 is equal to 2 so m1 is equal to 2 the second part here this is a quadratic equation of the form a m squared plus b m plus c this is equal to 0 from this quadratic equation we have that a is equal to 1 b is equal to 3 and that c is equal to 7 so the next step let's assess the nature let's check the nature of this quadratic equation by determining the discriminant value the discriminant value from here is b squared minus 4 times a times c now let's substitute the values of a b and c so we have 3 squared minus 4 times a which is 1 times c which is 7 so we have here 3 squared this is 9 minus 7 times 4 this is 28 so this implies that we have 9 minus 28 so this is equal to minus 19 which is less than 0 so this this means that here we have no real solution so there's no real solution from this quadratic part so in other words we have two complex solutions we have two complex solutions so therefore this quadratic part is rejected so this quadratic part is rejected since x is a member of real numbers so the quadratic part this part cannot give us a real solution so let's proceed to m1 equal to 2 so here we have that m1 is equal to 2 m1 is equal to 2 so if you recall if you recall from here we assume that red 7 to power x be equal to m to solve for x let's substitute m so we have 7 to power x this is equal to 2 so to solve for x we introduce logarithm on both sides so that we have rock 7 to power x this is equal to rock 2 rock 7 to power x this is in the form of rock 8 to power n which we can express as n rock a now applying this power root property of logarithm then rock 7 to power x can be expressed as x rock 7 this is equal to rock 2 so let's divide here by rock 7 and also here by rock 7 so let's simplify here rock 7 and rock 7 simplifies by simplifying rock 7 and rock 7 here we have x is equal to rock 2 over rock 7 rock 2 over rock 7 this is in the form of rock a over rock b which we can express as rock a to base b so let's apply this logarithm property so that now x is equal to rock 2 to base 7 so this is the value of x the next step is to verify that this value of x satisfies the equation now let's verify that the value of x which is rock 2 to base 7 satisfies the equation now if you recall from here we have that 7 to power x plus 7 to power 2 x plus 7 to power 3 x this is supposed to give us a value of 
14. So let's substitute the value of x from here. So we have 7 raised to the power of 2 to be 7, then plus. We have 7 raised to the power 2, rog 2 to be 7, then plus 7 raised to the power of, that is 3, rog 2 to be 7. This should give us a value of 14. Let's check if this is true. So you find that 7 raised to the power of 2 to be 7. This is in the form of m to the power of a to base m, which will give us a value of a. So applying this logarithm property from here, this implies that 7 raised to the power of 2 to be 7, this will give us a value of 2. And then we have that 7 raised to the power 2 rog 2 to be 7, this is a power. So we can express this as 7 raised to the power of 2 to the power 2 to be 7. And this is equal to 2 to the power 2, which is equal to 4. Again here, we have 7 raised to the power 3, rog 2 to be 7. 3 is a power, so we can express this as 7 raised to the power of 3, that is rog 2, this is 2 to the power 3 to be 7. So this is equal to 2 to the power 3, and 2 to the power 3 in this case is equal to 8. So let's substitute 2, 4, and 8, so that now we have 2 plus 4 plus 8, this should give us a value of 14. So this implies that 2 plus 4, this is 6, 6 plus 8, this is 14, and this is equal to 14. So this implies that the left add side is equal to the right add side. And this implies that the value of x, which is equal to rock 2 to be 7, satisfies the equation. So can you follow the steps, like this video, and subscribe. Country, like, and subscribe. See you in the next video. Bye-bye. So, X...